Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. Today we're going to put the old Class 48 to work. We're doubling the size of our lumber and beam train. I just went and bought another 10 state cars. So we're going to tack those on to the end of the train, which is already sitting over there getting loaded. So a little bit of running around switching to do here. And then we're going to take all 20 cars over to the Iron, uh, Iron Mine Mountain Yard. That's kind of what I'm calling it. So let's hop in. I'm uh, liking the Class 48. This does well. It is super hungry on wood, though. Just filled it up. And in the last video, I told you to let me know what, how far you thought it would make it up the mountain with a full load. Ah, I didn't make it very far. <laughs> About the first curve, and it was done. No big surprise, but I kind of wanted to try it and see what happened. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead... Like, yeah, I hadn't done this yet, so we're gonna put the brake on there. Take off. Remember, this horn or this whistle's got a, a bit of a slow attack. So I need to go up and around. I need to switch over to extended here. Flip some switches. And I do have sound working now when you're all tapped out, thanks to the comment. The engine.ini file has moved spots. It used to be in the Windows No Editor folder. Now it's in just the Windows folder. So I changed that. Uh, and then the game overrode it for some reason. But I changed it again, and so far it's stuck. So that worked out. Thanks for the tip. I can't figure out what causes the engines to flip when you hit F to get in. It seems kind of random. So we're basically using this as a Y right here. This part of the track is a Y. So we're going to turn the engine and then back around and couple onto the old section of the train. that a little close, didn't I? If I hit F1, yeah, the map doesn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. With extended. It's probably some kind of trick. Coming on back. I do like the visibility out of this terrain. It's pretty good. Out of this loco. Especially with the door open. Can we open? I don't think we can open anything else. We can open the door though. So we'll let that switch auto row. Back down this direction. Come here, let me see it. Direction. There we go. That'll give me enough time to hop over here, throw some switches on my screen. This should all make sense here in a minute. Now we're running back at the uh, the new cars. We're not going to hook onto them. We're going to back up onto this track. Head over there. Not that track. Uh, this track. <laughs> There's a lot of tracks over here. And then hook onto the old train. And we're going to back the whole thing around and hook onto these. So a lot of switching moves today. Sometimes that's what railroading involves. A lot of switching. All right. Back her on up. And I do still have a link there, so we're good. Top back in this view. 
Got the old Betsy log train out of the way there. She's just long enough she was interfering up there. So. Backed it up out of the way. Need to make some more runs with Betsy. We've been chewing through the lumber and beams. Taken, I think, two... I think, yeah, I think I made two trips up since the last video. It's kind of hard to keep track. He's on back. There we go. Now we just need to push this thing. It's got a nice sound to it. Like the sound of the loco. So let's get a little bit of speed up. I don't want to go too crazy. Screen. So nice having the sound in it. Switches are all lined up, so we're good there. I do need to throw a link on the back of the train. There's no link back there. Sometimes I just like to play with a whistle. Then my plan is to do, uh, we'll do 10 cars of lumber and 10 cars of beams. And we'll run that over to the yard. Let's go ahead and close down the regulator and then we'll run the train back here. Run! So we're going to have a 20 car train. That's exciting. See how that does. The uh, track physics do seem to be better in this beta version. I've been ripping down Iron, uh, Iron Mine Mountain. I don't know why it's hard for me to say that. And uh, the cars so far stay on the track. Even if you're going like 30 or 40 miles an hour. I've got I got a little bit touch and go with the climax on one of the curves. Like it looked like it was gonna rock up. But I got it slowed down. I'm watching on my extended screen over here. See how close we're getting? Half a car length. Give her a little more juice. That ought to do it. Let's see if we can run back here. Two. Five. Six. I'm counting on my fingers. Seven. Eight. Oh, I miscounted. Eh. Didn't think I was using. Oh, I wasn't counting my fingers. I'm kidding. All right, that should be 20 cars. Bounce your way back up to the engine. And we'll head back around to start loading. Come here. Well, she feels that. Pretty powerful loco, though. Good little switcher. Kind of hunts around on the track a bit because of its little short wheelbase. off on the power as we come around that curve. That's quite a bit of friction back there. Coming through that. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in this view. And 
And what kind of breaking action we got here? Pretty decent, but you can definitely tell we got a lot more weight back there. Blow a little steam out. I don't use those often enough. Be cool if they were functional. Alright, so we want that first car. Kind of right up to the bridge, if I remember right. Alright, let's call that good and see how we did. How are we looking here? Let's pop into the overhead view. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it. All right, we need to load lumber like there's no tomorrow. So I'm going to actually do that from my other screen. Zoom in here. Activate these cranes. I can run the train from over here. <laughs> So I'm going to get the train loaded up, and then uh, we'll take a run over to the yards. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, there you have it, all loaded up. Look at that beautiful train. Stretching as far as the eyes can see. Whee! So let's head over to Iron Mine Mountain Yard. But save early, save often, I'd say. Really wish they would reverse date order that. 
to the other way around. You always have to scroll to the bottom to get to the latest one. Whatever. Let's run, run. Um, judging by how it acted loading, this is going to have no problem pulling this. It moves right out, no problem. Uh, it does, however, burn up a ton of wood. I think somebody mentioned that in the comment when I was talking about which loco I was going to get. All right, let's jump in here and off we go. There's a thumbnail. <laughs> so I haven't driven a train this long in quite some time. Definitely not with the new beta, the new physics. This should be interesting. Let's let's see how it goes. see my speed over here on my other screen. It says max speed for the uh, S48 is 18 miles an hour. We're up to 9 already. Just 60% regulator. He's doing alright. Forgot to light my headlamp. That's okay. I had it on partly cloudy for a while. I think while I was loading, the sun kind of changed some. But came through in the time lapse or not. Get through all these curves and we'll open it up a little more. Always nice to have some long trains. Still coming around the corner. <laughs> Nothing like run eight, of course. It had a, I forget it was an 8,000 foot train or something on there. Of course, this is a little, you know, little mountain railroading, completely different. All right. We're nearly up to top speed. So I guess we'll just keep her at 60. Should be all lined up to get over to the yard. That's where we came out of. I'm gonna go just double check on the screen here. Uh, let's get lined up to come into the longest track here. That should do it. Into some curves and a downhill. So we're going back off the regulator. Start dropping off the deep grade right here. Actually, slow down a little bit. Down to about 13 miles an hour. We're going to start picking up speed as. The train gets on this downhill portion. Didn't want it to get too crazy. In hindsight, I should have done the creosote bridge too here. Might fix that someday. I did rework this area over here that I talked about in the last video. I think it was the last video. Up to 21, 22 miles an hour. Too bad. 23, 24. Let's go ahead and get some steam back on, and we're going to be heading into the grade here. So, this is all Crease Up Bridge now. Got the steel part taken out. Alright, let's just go max regulators. We head into the 
climb. I think it's only 1%, so we should be good. Didn't seem to have any trouble with 10 loaded cars. Oh, shoot. I forgot to cut the trees. <laughs> no! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, remember I was rebuilding the bridge? Yeah, I forgot to cut the trees. I'll be back. Shut up, Bill. All right, well, that wasn't too bad of a pile up. I think I got everything back on the track. Let's get back down here and hook on. Go cut the rest of the trees that I couldn't get to past the cars. We were just a little push. There's a lot of stiction, even on a 1% grade. It won't drift downhill. I should give it just a little bit of a push. There you go. All right, let's get everything coupled back up. Some of these will have hand brakes. Is it four cars I had to re-rail or three? Four cars, I think. Could have been worse. No, five cars. Unless I just missed getting the brakes on on that. Oh, maybe it was the other end I was putting brakes on. I was frantically putting brakes on through the uh, extended interface. Must have been these cars down here. Didn't roll too far. It's only a 1% grade. And hey, we'll just leave that mistake in. You know, mistakes happen. I was going to remove those trees with Studio, and I completely forgot. So what I usually do is, some of them I'll cut by hand, but most of the time I just use the smart, the smart tree function on the railroad.studio website for a nice consistent look across the railroad. Am I? Jump. All right, I think that's the end of where I was putting brakes on. So let's get our saw out and go cut down some more trees. The trees inside the trestle are a little bit of a challenge because you can't actually cut inside the trestle as collision. But usually you can get to the top of the tree. Remember when cutting trees used to cost money? Some of you have been around that long. Crazy times. I'm going to get rid of you as well. A little close. Clicky click. Clicky. Alright, doesn't want to clicky. Another reason I use Studio because this game is kind of buggy. Doesn't always do what it's supposed to do. There, got it. All right. Let's try that again, uh, only without trees on the trestle. <laughs> you know, we're starting out on a 1% grade. Should be doable. All right, we're in forward go-go. Try this again. Let's go to number four. You got this. Double checking over on extended. Yeah, all my brakes are on. It's not particularly just, you know, walking away with it uphill, but it's 20 loaded cars. Good job, number four. Should have done cylinder cocks to be more dramatic. There we go. 
It's another good F12. I love hearing uh, steam working. It's got that good chuff sound. Makes it sound like it's doing something. Let's get cylinder cocks off. And head on over to the yard. Slowly but surely. went to zero because reasons the f menu the loco ui it always remembers what the last position you were in when you were in that ui irrespective of what you've done outside of the locomotive ui long-standing bug it's been reported a long time ago still with us so as soon as i changed it with s it went all the way to zero All right, the question is, how long are we? I'm guessing we're going to be longer than this track. I didn't really design this track for long terrains. We'll see where we fit in here. I think we can do 10 and 10. I didn't do any exact measuring, but I kind of designed it around my 10 car cuts that I knew the climax could haul up the mountain. But we'll see, it might actually fit in here, at least a little longer than I remembered. It was ringing the whole time I was re-railing the cars. I guess the physics made it bounce all over the place when I derailed. So I didn't get on the brakes on time. I was too busy admiring the terrain. But it looks like it will actually fit. I just need to back up a little bit. On number four, you got this. So 
go too far back. Brakes! Oh yeah, once you've re-railed, you don't have any clipping. I forgot about that. I can't stand on top. Uh, judging by... Railroads Online Extended... See, now that I'm back here on this car, this car wasn't re-railed. I have collision on the... Probably a one-line go changed. Collision back on. How are we looking? Oh, yeah. Cool. It will fit in here. All right. Well, now I just need to split it up and get it up the mountain, but that'll be for future. Thanks as always for watching, folks. Y'all take care, and I'll catch you in the next video.